The Windy Farm Doug McLeod and Craig Smith Why would anyone want to live on a farm where the winds were so fierce that even the pigs are blown away? Fortunately, Mum is a clever inventor and can think of one very good reason. The Windy Farm My family lived on the windiest farm on Windy Hill. It was all we could afford. It was so windy, sometimes our pigs nearly blew away. Once, I nearly blew away. Grandpa never blew away. Mum, the inventor of the family, made heavy metal shoes for us all, even the pigs, so that we stayed on the ground. But one day, half our house blew away. Never mind, said Grandpa. Dad asked our rich Uncle Jeff if we could borrow some money to fix the house. No, said Uncle Jeff, who had an oil well in his back garden next to the clothesline. It's your silly fault for buying such a windy farm. So we fixed the house as cheaply as we could with Grandpa's power tools. Then the power bill came. It was so high, the only way to pay it was to sell Big Betty, Grandpa's favourite pig. Never mind, said Grandpa. I wish we owned an oil well like Uncle Jeff, said Dad, sadly. All we have is a stupid old windmill that pumps water, not oil. Just then, the wind blew extra hard. The windmill spun so quickly that it caused a fountain. The next day, Mum and Dad took off some of the windmill blades to slow it down. What should we do with these leftover windmill blades? asked Dad. Let's make more windmills, said Mum, the inventor. Let's turn our farm into a wind farm. With our special new windmills, we made so much power that we sold the electricity and became rich. We built a brand new windproof house for ourselves and also one for the pigs. We brought back Grandpa's favourite pig, Big Betty.
Not long after, Uncle Jeff's well stopped pumping oil. There was none left, so he became poor. We let Uncle Jeff stay with us. We forgave him for being greedy. Although he did have to sleep with Big Betty. And because he refuses to wear Mum's special shoes, one morning he blew away. Never mind, said Grandpa.